Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to use Cybergate. Um, pretty much a uh, RAC remote administrator tool. Um, hopefully this video will be going up today. Uh, I'm not going to have any intros, trying to make a new one. If anyone can help me out there, that'd be fine. Alright, first you need to go in the description and download Cybergate. Once that's downloaded, it should give you a RENAR file. Uh, give it a couple seconds, open it extract it to your desktop and you'll get something like this a little iPod next what you want to do is you're going to want to go to www.no.ip.com link will be in the description alright I'm already signed in that's cool you can see my IP now good job no IP Dang it. Alright. Um, you're gonna wanna go to um hold on, let me find it really quick because you know, it's kinda of retarded. Yeah, I use the mom. Alright. Well I'm just gonna try to see what happens. Well pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a host. Um and once you uh create a host you're just going to uh, oh well I guess it's on you. That's not cool. Once you create a host, you just make it whatever you want for the username, and then you just put the right thing to noip.biz, and then you just create the host. That's all you have to do. Don't do anything else. You don't even have to realize it. It's just to make your IP address IP. Just like, all right. Now, um, people see the port words, so I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. You're gonna go to start and cd. So bring up uh, this. You're gonna put the IP on big. I'm gonna scroll up to see IP default gateway. I don't want to let you see that. Anymore. You're gonna get that, pick it up in the search bar, put in your routers, uh, password, and username. Oh, your username is probably gonna be admin, your password will be admin. Once you change it, um, don't, you know. But after you did change it, you're just gonna sign in, make a new port, make it uh, 88. After you make it a new port, you just save, save the settings. Okay. After that's done, um, I'm kind of on a rush, guys, so I'm not going to be showing you how to work forward. I will make another tutorial. A lot of people don't get it. Okay. Next, you're going to open up Cybergate. Let me go ahead and close mine really quick. Alright. You're going to open your Cybergate up. It's going to give you a, it's going to do a pop-up, and it's going to say, wait 20 cents, and you accept, accept it. And it'll probably bring it to the exact thing that I have. Oh, yes. Okay. So now I'm going to open your points really quick. Yeah, um, I, I don't take a flight for anyone doing harm damage or threat. I'm not out in trip because uh, you can do damage to people. Kill our fox, kind of good stuff. Shit, sure. guys. Alright, what's your cyber? Because it's gonna give you a memory. You delete it later. When I start, something's probably gonna pop. Nothing should pop for you. Go ahead and trust me to start. Hopefully, something. Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. Like, and stuff. Alright. Alright. two options. Select those same ports. Type in 88 right here. Make your connection password one two three four five six. Connection limit two hundred. Click the arrow. Save. Then you want to go to Builder, create server. Make a profile. New hack one. Name it hack one. Forward it. Um, you're gonna add a port because it's gonna give you one that says ninety nine and it's gonna give you the same IP. Just highlight it, delete it, and make a new one. And it's gonna bring you up to this. You delete the last number and make it 88. Click OK. It's gonna add just like mine. Uh, put your username, which is gonna be hack1, and your password should be 123456. Like that. Alright, now you're gonna wanna go to installation tab. You're gonna wanna um, click root instead of system. That's a common flaw. Um, don't mess with anything here. Randomize it like four or five times each. Uh, uncheck melt file. Click change create date and pro persi persistence. Go to file name and name it bhchost.exe. Dictionary, you know, install. Message, I don't mess with this. I think it's stupid. It takes longer for your rat to uh, open up. Key logger, keep it the same. Um, just check all if anything's unchecked. Go to create server. Click compress with UPX. It's going to be unchecked. Click create server. Save it to your desktop. And it should give you something like this. Um, next, if it doesn't work when you double click it, you're going to want to go to um, control panel. Mm 
All right, you're gonna want to go to security. You're gonna want to disable your firewall because um, it's not gonna work. The firewall's on because it's gonna protect it. And if it's still detecting as a Trojan, you're gonna want to go to uh, Windows Defender if you have it. You're gonna let the whole program itself cybergate in there, and you're gonna um, manually find your server and then let it go through too. Like that. Once you double click it, everything should open fine. If it doesn't, PM me. Because, um, yeah, mine opened pretty well. You're going to want to go uh, right click it. If you have someone else's stuff, you can mess with them. You know, it's pretty fun. But um, I'm going to make a video on how to spread. It's pretty easy. You can use TeamViewer AIM. Just make them download it, open it, it'll pop up. Alright, guys, so that was my quick tutorial on how to. Uh, make it right and set up cybergate i hope uh, this helps you a lot please comment rate and subscribe thank you have a good day